I'm sure that you have seen a lot of movies and TV shows and you have seen all sorts of VFX effects like explosions, water simulations, destruction effects, digital doubles, environments, CGI environments and more stuff that you don't actually see such as lighting, compositing, match moving, texturing, animation and so on. But the question now is, what aspect of VFX interests you the most? And are you interested in 3D modeling, motion graphics, compositing, effects, lighting, or any other aspect? On a side note, over the years, I realized that motivation is a determining reason in your journey. And in the case of learning VFX, it is really, really important. So what is your motivation for learning VFX and do you want to work in the film or gaming industry? Or maybe another question, do you want to create your own short films or you want to work for big productions in big VFX movies? All these questions and more will help you understand what you're getting into because you don't want to jump blindly into something that you don't really have an idea about. Before we continue, let me take a moment and tell you about Tripo AI. Tripo is an online tool designed to transform text to image input into high quality 3D models. And it is powered by AI as you might expect. They provide a seamless API for developers to incorporate 3D model generation into their applications. Now with version 2.0, Tripo is even capable of delivering convincing models. And they added the ability to order characters and apply animation. You can change the style to voxels or Lego and even retopologize your model and pick the exact poly count that you want. And you can also generate a character, refine it and texture it, or auto-rig it, in addition to applying animations and even retopologize your model in just a few seconds. You can try Tripo AI for free by visiting tripo3d.ai and there you can easily generate high quality and fully textured 3D models using a text description or by uploading a reference image. The library is also endless and you can download an unlimited number of models. If you think this is interesting, check out Tripo AI from the link in the description and try the tool for free. Now back to the video. First of all, understanding the basics of VFX is essential for anyone who wants to learn something in this field. And here are some key concepts that you should consider when learning VFX. And since VFX is a 3D field for the most part, you probably should look into 3D modeling. This involves creating digital models or objects or maybe characters and 3D environments. But the thing is, modeling has even more specialties like being a character artist or environment artist. Also, do you think that artists who create characters for Marvel movies, for example, like the Hulk, Iron Man, or Thanos, for example, are VFX generalists? Actually, far from it. Because modeling and sculpting 3D characters that actually look that good need someone or some people with many years of experience in modeling. Since this kind of work requires a lot of attention to detail. What I mean is, if you want to learn how to become a VFX artist and get a job, it is better actually or it is a good idea to be specialized. Just around the topic of modeling, texturing is really as important as modeling because without it, you can't finish characters, environments, or any type of model. In a nutshell, this involves adding color, detail, and texture to 3D models to make them look more realistic. This is an important step in creating visual effects that blend seamlessly with live action footage. And in big productions, this is a whole job in of itself. And the guys that do this, they are called servicing or texturing artists, and believe me, this is a really important job as I said. On the other hand, if you want to be an independent VFX artist or a character artist to be specific, you will have to learn how to create characters from start to finish, including modeling, sculpting, UV unwrapping, texturing, and so on. But we can't talk about VFX without actually talking about visual effects. I mean stuff that cannot be achieved through traditional filming techniques, or at least it is not cost effective or it is difficult, like big explosions, fires in difficult places, or magical spells. This is actually what most people expect when we talk about VFX jobs. And to be honest, this is a very exciting part of any production, but it is also challenging. First of all, it requires a really, really, really good machine. This is the case because you want a computer that can run simulations in real time and render those simulations with all their complex details and nuance. So to learn faster without being frustrated, you will need that. 
Also, for the most part, learning how to do simulations, you will need to use complex software such as Houdini, but also other tools like Thinking Particles and Tyflow in Max, in addition to Bifrost in Maya and X Particles in Cinema 4D, just to name a few. There are also other tools shared among the software like FumeFX, Phoenix, RealFlow, and so on. Personally, I had a lot of fun learning these software when I was starting out, so I think it is worth it even if it is a bit harder and it requires an insane computing power. For me personally, I think that one of the things that can make or break how VFX projects are perceived is lighting. This involves creating virtual lighting in 3D environments to make them look more realistic. And this is an important step in creating visual effects that can integrate seamlessly with live action footage. And as I said before, there are people called lighting artists. A lighting artist is a VFX artist who is responsible for creating the mood, atmosphere, and depth in a scene by simulating natural and artificial light. And the interesting thing is that they work closely with other artists and technical teams to design and place lights that match the visual style of the project, ensuring the textures and models are eliminated properly. And as important as everything is, at the end of the VFX production, you will have to go through what is called compositing. This involves combining multiple elements such as 3D models, live action footage, in addition to simulations and special effects in a single place to create a final product. This is an essential skill for creating convincing visual effects that can blend seamlessly with live action footage. And compositing artists work to match elements from different sources so they can look as if they belong into one place or the same environment. And they use different software such as Nuke, After Effects, or Fusion to layer and refine these elements, mostly to ensure coherence between the different elements and as if they belong to the same place as one final product. And if you want to make your own projects in VFX, compositing and lighting are a must to master if you want to create something that can look realistic and really good. Now, let's talk about the software side of things, because it will determine what techniques and workflows you will be using. And here are some popular software that can be used in VFX and their main features. First of all, if you want to start off with something free and allows you to work on VFX projects at a lower cost and also include 3D of course, your best option is gonna be Blender 3D, which is a 3D modeling and animation software in addition to the ability to do effects and simulations and even compositing and video editing. But let's not go that far. Still with free options, you can go with Blackmagic Fusion and DaVinci Resolve for color correction and compositing. And if you want to spend some money and work with software that give you a better chance of working professionally, you better learn software such as Max, Maya, Houdini, and so on for 3D modeling and animation in addition to simulation and dynamics. But for the most part, Maya and Max are used for modeling and animation, also for effects with tools like Bifrost, Thinking Particles, Typeflow, Fume Effects, and so on. But the king of simulations is of course Houdini, and this has been the case for a while. And by the way, you can't go wrong with Houdini because it is the industry standard and it is actually the best. Now, knowing what software to use is great in everything, but learning is the most important. And learning from online resources is an effective way to gain knowledge and skills in VFX. So here are some tips and tricks to help you make the most out of your online resources. A good thing I recommend is finding reputable resources. So check reviews and ratings of courses, tutorials, and forums before investing your time and money. Also, a good thing to do before learning anything is to follow a structured learning plan. I mean, for example, finding a good course and setting 30 minutes a day or a couple of hours a week of learning in addition to practicing, of course, to have some sense of progress and accomplishment. And to keep learning exciting, I recommend joining online communities such as forums and social media media groups where you can connect with other people, I mean VFX artists and experts, and trust me this is important and I know this because being part of a community always feels good and helps you keep going. Most importantly, this will help you ask questions, share your work, and get feedback. Also, since VFX is a practical field, there is no point of learning without practice and gaining actual experience. So it is better to experience with different techniques and learn and practice regularly to improve your skills, whether it be for modeling, compositing, animation, doing simulations, you name it. 
and don't be afraid of trying new things and making mistakes. I feel like this is cheesy but it is important since it is an important part of the learning process. And since we are talking about practicing now, there is a concept called deliberate practice, which means you should practice with a focus and intent. I mean intent of learning a particular skill in VFX. And the opposite of that is being random and all over the place as a student and trust me, this will waste a lot of your time and effort. Also money as well. And there you have it guys. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.